And we see Julian Carroll representing the Ducks enter the cage. He is in the red corner. He's got himself a little following. What do we know about this guy, Trent? From Springfield, Oregon, he is a wrestler. And he looks very intense. Not a smile on his face when he walked to that cage. He's ready for business, Ryan. Our seventh bout of the evening takes place in a catch weight of 160 pounds. First for the fighter standing to my left in the red corner. He's a freestyle fighter making his mixed martial arts debut. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighed in at 159 and one half pounds. Trained by Zach George, he represents the Ducks. Fighting out of Estacada, Oregon, ladies and gentlemen, Julian Carroll. And his opponent standing out to my right in the blue corner, he's a wrestler, making his mixed martial arts debut. He stands five feet eight inches tall, Weighing in at 158 and one half pounds. Trained by Luke Hogel, he represents the Beavers. Fighting out of Springfield, Oregon. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome please, John Hedge. Your winner of this bout is Dave Hedge. So we have John Hedge out of the blue corner. He's wearing black. Tap out shorts with the American flag on them. We have Julian Carroll out of the red corner wearing the black and gray board shorts. Carroll out of the red corner representing the Ducks. He has the black trunks with gray trim. Hedge out of the blue corner representing the Beavers. He's got the black and American flag trunks. Referee Dave Hagen back in the cage overseeing the action. Single leg by John Hedge. John Hedge comes right in, gets to business, drops down for a single leg, pops back up, puts Carroll on his butt in his own corner, drops him down, puts his head Carol on the cage. Take down by John Hedge. Looks like Julian is only reacting. Doesn't really appear to have a game plan from down from it, from this position. John Hedge doesn't need much space there, but he's dropping pretty good leather just with very little space. That's when you know a ground guy is pretty experienced and he's used to striking on the ground. They don't need that great big area to throw a punch. They just need a little hole to slip a hand through. John Hedge craw crawling up. Leon's done a good job getting his head off the cage. But right as I say that, John Hedge puts Julian Carroll's head back on the cage. Ooh, heard that one. John Hedge landed a big shot, Julian's head. He lands another one. John Hedge trying to... <clears throat> There's that hole you were talking about, Trent. Lands a right, right through it. Now he's posturing for some good distance, and now he's really making Julian pay for this. Julian covering up, not a good spot. Referee Dave Hagan leaning in, saying, you gotta defend yourself, you gotta Half move. Way through. Julian tries to suck him back down, but John Hedge postures back up again, and he's dropping big shots here. Referee Dave Hagan stepping in again, saying, you gotta do something, you gotta move, or I'm gonna stop this fight. Looks like Julian's really trying to do something, but with a spider monkey on top, yeah, there ain't much you could do. He's all over the place. Spread out, arms and legs sprawled. There ain't no direction that Julian could have gone. But he has gotten back he to his found feet. Up. And he has double overhooks. Not necessarily a good spot, but not too bad either. Digs inside, now Ooh, he goes for a knee. knee. John Hedge drops down. I don't know if that was from the knee getting dropped down or if he just wanted to drop down for a single. I'm not sure either way. Julian Carroll's butt back on the back on the mat, Ryan. Digging for the guillotine, loses it. John Hedge crawling back up, body down. He's seconds. moved to side. Dangerous spot. If he could throw that kind of leather from guard, he's going to do a lot more in half or side. Julian still holding on to a bit of a guillotine. He's not going to choke him out here, but he might control John's posture just enough to keep him from really posturing up and landing big Ten shots. Ten seconds remaining. Referee Dave Hagan tell him get get to work, get to business. I don't care if there's 10 seconds left. Okay. 
look to appear that Julian tap from strikes. Exhaustion, I'm not sure from what, but uh, the crowd saw it. I'm not sure if that was just a tap or if that was just rapid little punches. I'm not sure. Quite a few people say that they saw Julian tap right at the end of that round. The referee didn't see it. Oh, Van Hagen calls the fight. The referee did see it. I it's don't know if Dave Hagen consulted the commission on that or a judge. What exactly happened? Let's hear the ex explanation for the man in the hat here. Winner via tap out at 2 minutes 59 seconds of the very first round. Out of the blue corner and representing the Beavers, John Hayes. And it's just simply called tap due to strikes. With a, with a mere second remaining trend. A second left. And the Beavers catch their first break. You hear the Beaver fight music ringing through Gil Coliseum here.